Get him up, get him up. That might be him. That's him, that's him, that's him, that's him. Nice and easy. Keep real, real, real. Don't worry about it. Real, keep his head up. This is Barstool Outdoors, presented by Hook. It's 5.30 a.m. today. I'm on the boat here in Venice, Louisiana with Captain Jordy with Mexican Gulf Fishing Company. We got a beautiful sunrise behind me. Nice pink skies, hopefully good con conditions today because we were after triple tails for my first time ever. I'm excited. Um, I haven't even been to Venice, Louisiana before, so this is also my first trip down here. And uh, hopefully it gets a little fishy today uh, and the conditions stay nice and clear. This morning we're gonna go target some triple tail first thing. Um, we're gonna head south uh, towards the Gulf, go look for these triple tail. It's kind of the, getting to the, be the prime time of the year for them here. They're migrating fish, so they kind of, they drift through, they come in. Uh, we do have some resident ones that I think stay all year. But uh, we're gonna go fish these triple tails around structure. Um, some on a cork, some just, you know, free line basically. And uh, it's been a lot of, a lot of nice triple tails around. So we're gonna go give them a shot today and see if we can't put Sydney on her first one. to our first stop at the wellhead. What are, how are we catching these triple tails? Uh, we're gonna use live and dead bait just on a jig head to start. Um, we're gonna try some corks too once I get them rigged up. Um, use a couple different methods just to try to find what depth they're at and uh, just are try we, to are feed we, them. Are we jigging? You're just gonna let, kind of let it slow fall and pull it up. You don't want it to sit on the bottom. You'll catch catfish and stuff and like how, that. How deep is this? Uh, we are in about 12 feet of water, 11, 12 feet right here. All right. So we, uh, we're just going to go find them. They could be from 10 feet to 40 feet of water. So everybody kind of has their little area they like to catch them in and we'll give it a shot. And we're at Jordy's secret spot. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's ever been here before. <laughs> Triple tail, tail or structure oriented. I just learned that <laughs> five seconds ago by Mikey What's behind the mean? camera. So structure oriented is like kind of like um, a bluegill or a crappie. They like. just hang out on yeah. structure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought you meant like how they were shaped. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Like you mean they hang structure. out structure. Yeah, what they were. structure like, holds bait or a smaller fish. They look um, prehistoric. Prey. Sure. It's kind of like in freshwater ponds too. A little of the prey are hiding by the structure because they're hiding from the bigger fish and the bigger fish are going to hang out on the edges waiting for something to come out and then they're going to snatch them up like the shrimp that they're going to be um, mistaken for. I'm the predator behind the shrimp. I just sweat for it. Yeah, just let it go down fall and then you just flip your bail and pick it up. A little faster, you're gonna have to keep your bail closed because if they hit it like that, they'll get straight in the rig and then they'll be gone. Oh, hook the rig. No, I didn't. No, you got something? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not acting like a triple tail, but we'll see what it is. Ooh. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a bull rig. <sighs> Come back, come, come come to the back. Try to just keep him out the rig. All right, oh, these guys go in the There's water. There's no freaking way. It's gotta be a bull red. Ugh. I will love if it's a bull red. I don't care what it is. How's my drag, you like this drag? Yeah, it's probably good. You can give him a little slack on it if you want. I mean, he's... But if, if he's playing all right. I feel like we're good. He's able to... Oh my God. Oh, it's a black drum. I thought it was oh, a triple tail. Oh, man. Go down. That's why he pulled like that. Get another reel on him. Oh, another. There you go. I thought it was a triple tail when it came up. All right, black <laughs> drum. Right? Yeah. Is it eatable? No. All right, that's all right. This is, I don't know if I've... It's our first trophy. Wait, is that a big one? Yeah, that's a big one. Is I that... didn't think about the size is of the ones that... we were catching yesterday. Oh, that's true. That is what we caught. Yeah, they were I mean, like that's little what babies. We threw back ton of yesterday. Oh my gosh, okay, let's do a little comparison. So take a look at the screen. It's a little baby, and this is the big one. Wow. That was fun. I just dropped it down there. Yeah. First drop. He thought I hit the rig. I was like, it's moving. I don't think it's yeah. the rig. When you pulled up and it was just dead weight. So usually like when you flip it in there and it's fallen and you go to set the hook, the triple tail is gonna freaking take off in the into the rig. 
Look how big this guy is. <laughs> Black drum, baby. Not quite what we're here for. We're here for the reds, the big bull reds, or the triple tails, but it's pretty cool. Our first drop and we already hooked into a fish. Not the species we're after, but look at that size. Now he's going back down the hatch. Hasta la vista, baby. That's a good one, that's a good one. Oh God, yeah, try to keep him that way. I think that's the right one. He's running this way. Yep, 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 I'm going. I'm trolling it. There we go. Yeah, I think that's the right one. It's nice and easy. Yeah. Might be a bull grab. Never came up yet. Kind of scared. It's nice and easy. Don't put too much heat on him. Come on, dude. Come on. Show me. Show yourself. Bull red. I'll take him. Did we get him? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I know we're trying for triple tail bone pumps. <laughs> Whoa! That's a good one. Yeah. Barely fits in the net. That was fun. Holy cow, that's my first bull red, dude. Oh, really? Yeah, I've never caught one. That's why oh, I'm pumped. Well, yeah, hell yeah, I'd be pumped too. Yeah, my first bull red. <laughs> We've been fishing here for a couple of days, and Ooh. first day we weren't able to get on one. The conditions are a lot different. It's a little bit more. Uh, what would you say? <laughs> not as windy. Yeah. <laughs> not the water's not as tough. Um, and we're fishing these structures and for triple tail, but you know there's always an opportunity to catch a bull red. And my first bull red. <laughs> Woo, bucket list check. So Jordy's oh. hooked up onto a sheep's head. Good meat, keeper size. What's some cool, interesting facts about a sheep's head? Um, they got really cool teeth. You can get a close up. It's kind of like Smiling. human teeth. You can tell. He still has my shrimp in his mouth. <laughs> uh. um, so they hang out. A lot of people think it's trash fish. Uh, they're actually really good eating. They got a lot of bones in them, but if you know how to clean around the bones in a rib cage, it's pretty easy. Um, it's often often called the bay snapper. So if you have in a restaurant and you see bay snapper on the menu, sheep's head. Sheep's head. Cool. And they're used as imitation crab meat a lot. Really, I didn't know yep. that. A lot of restaurants in different places will use bull sheep's head meat as imitation crab meat. So sometimes you got to watch where you go. Cool. But they're really good. Kind of overlooked. Tons of people love them. I like them, so. Sweet. Nice little food. Yum. <laughs> oh, is it, is it? I don't know, it's something big. Please, God. Oh, it's a red. Fudge. Eat That's okay. This. Of course, it's redfish. It's a nice red. Come on, baby. We'll take him. Nice bull red. Look at that beauty. He hammered that. My second bull red of the day. We're still after those uh, triple tails. Haven't hit yet, but it's fun to catch these guys. They take off. You hear the drag just zzzz. And uh, it's cool to see these beautiful fish. The colors on here are gorgeous. The reds, silvers, and then obviously it's always cool to see the big old dot on their back tail. Um, that's how you can distinguish a redfish. We've got this guy in the boat, we're gonna put him in. We're running out of time because we gotta hit a plane tonight. So we're gonna we're gonna move out. Let's release this guy. Oh shit. Just 
do your thing. Get him up, get him up. It might be him. That's him, that's him, that's him, that's him. Nice and easy. Keep real, real, real. Don't worry about it. Real, keep his head up. Keep his head up. Real, real, real. Let's yeah! go! Come on! <laughs> yes! That's a good one! Thank you, God! Let's go! Oh my gosh, look at his spin. That would hurt. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Finally! Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Woo! Uh, that's, a, that's a 20 pounder. He's close. Dude. Jump. Good job. Woo. He uh, made us work for it. Hey, oh. Today it was a work. <laughs> We've been working for it. We've been working for it. You can't say we have not been trying to catch a triple tail. We've been working for Dude. it. Dude! Okay. That was a good one. I knew it. You I said knew that it. felt good, and I was like, watched it go up. Yeah. I was, I was like, like, yep, that's him. I was like, that's a good one. Because he just went. Yeah. Sweet. Jordy it came and I, up like you're supposed yes. to. Yes. Jordy and I have been going <laughs> all day. We've both been fishing hard, hitting structure after structure. We just hiked 15, mi 15 minutes away, yeah. how many miles, I don't know, yeah. um, to a different area where we've heard rumors that the people have been catching them today. And then we hit this structure. The third one of the three structures. Dude, <laughs> there should be more here, so we're going to keep fishing. But that was Our the first goal. Tail. First one. That's, a, nice that's one. a good one. That's a real good one. Dude, I'm pumped. Oh, me too. Thank God. Are you nervous? <laughs> oh, it was draining me all day. <laughs> You're like, we got It's get been one. so not easy, but so good and consistent. Yeah, and this is the time um, of the year to get it. Yeah, so I was like, oh, this is triple tail. Yeah, we're going to catch a triple tail. That's fine. And of course, it takes all day. Of I mean, course. you got your bull reds too. So I did. That I got was my a first bull nice reds. surprise. And now the goal is met. Two firsts in a day. Yeah. Take it. Take it. I'll take it. Dude. Let's go. All right. Let's get some pictures. <laughs> What you got going on? Black drum? A drum. There's a lot of fish over here though. Yeah. Every cast. Boy, got them Kardashian lips. <laughs> that's the right one. one, that's the right one. I think. It felt like it, it's a big, it's nice. Here we go, here we go. Red, I no, nope, I don't think it is. I think it's the right one. That's the right one. That's the right one. Oh, God. Keep rolling. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> no, number two. <laughs> that's huge. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> that's a giant. Come on. That's a giant. That's a big one. He's a big one. Yeah, look at that color on him, too. That's a cool fish. That's a beautiful fish. There. The thing is, I would usually just pick them right up, but if you if you zoom in over here, the spikes. I'm in the shot. Um, bad spikes and bad gill plate right here. Yeah, that's super how, super sharp. That's how you uh, definitely get a hole in your foot or in your leg. But how do you know? Uh, a hole in your foot? From experience, for sure. <laughs> um, I didn't even expect it. I've never even seen one before in person until one just stuck me. Uh, hey! Whoa, those colors are beautiful. He's not thrilled. super vibrant. The browns. Yeah, whites, very. golds and silvers. And it's crazy like how these fish are literally in the same spot, probably eating the same thing, doing the same thing, and they're all like different shades and colors, and one will come up and it almost looks white. One comes up and looks brown and gold. Yeah. It's, they're, they're awesome fish. It's an awesome fish. I'm so happy. Five per person, that's number two within 10 minutes. 10 maybe. minutes, that's after us talking. Right. We're in the good spot. We're in the spot now to catch them. They're honestly, when we first came up, there's a bunch of bait fish on top of the water. I told Jordy, I'm like, ooh, this looks good over here. There's a bunch of bait fish. Um, <laughs> we're catching a bunch of fish too, like back to back to back. So the fish are in this area. We did hit a couple dry spots where we were fishing over different pylons and different pieces of structure where we weren't even catching a catfish. You know that something's going on there. So. Uh, we found him. Wait. I need to watch my legs. I'm gonna go get a sweet a grabber in him. Let's throw him in the ice.
Bingo! Let's go! That Good. happened so fast. Couldn't let you show that me. That happened so fast. <laughs> Were you filming? <laughs> Did you get any of that? I got my hands with the GoPro. Hey, I was confused with the GoPro. <laughs> that happened so fast. So what just happened is Jordy just flipped it in there on that pylon. And uh, three seconds later, um, he had a fish. Yeah. And I was trying to find the net. And by the time I got the net, he was already to the boat. We're trying to get the drone in the air. <laughs> oh my god! I decided to fish for a minute. Yeah, Jordy! Yeah, I'm going like that. Not as big as yours, but we'll take it. Uh, that's an eater. Yeah. Hey, our goal is five. You can fire a person, but we only wanted to keep five. That's number three. And 10, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mikey's trying to get the drone. <laughs> always happens that way, right? It always happens. Yeah. Did you not get that, bro? What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. I'll call that one. It doesn't have to be there. Yeah, We're good. Yeah. No, no. Guys, <laughs> this is so much fun. We're and good. if you like, like to grind after fish, Jordy is the one to go with because, you know, there's some days, if you're a fisherman, you know that's really easy and you can catch them one after the other, whatever you're after. And then there's some days that we've experienced that it's a pain in the butt. The fish just don't want to bite. No matter what happens, they're not where they were once or they're there and they're just like, eh, not hungry, not eating you. So today's so much fun. Jordy's a grinder no matter what. And, we're going to work for him if we go. And uh, our crew is too. We will, we will do what we need to do to catch a fish. That's right, that's right. Paying Jack with fish for being a great uh, co-captain for Mikey. Mikey's being like, <laughs> hey there, buddy. I'm trying to do it. A thousand things. You gotta get That's fine. Okay. And your nice hook SPF. Beautiful, shout out hook. Thank you very much. Yeah. Comfortable. These are the best fishing shorts. I just wear bathing suits when I fish. These hook bathing suit fishing shorts. Oh. Oh, God. Just keep them up, keep them up as much as real, 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 real. Ah! Ah! Alright, real, yeah, good, good, good. Thank you guys are good for you. Just don't put too much tension on them, just try to keep them real. Alright, he's gonna go right in control. Real, real. Oh, no, not yet. You ready? Right there. Yeah, you good, you good. Reel down, reel down, big reel down. Right there, nice and easy. Reel, baby, let's go! <laughs> Woo! Oh, Got him! Oh my gosh! <laughs> See, that's what they'll do to you. <laughs> Heck yeah, last fish of the day. Guys, said it again, said it, I'll say it again. One hell of a trip. I'm out of breath, so I get so excited. But thanks for watching, guys. We had a great day. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow Jordy. Follow Barstool Outdoors. Follow Mexican Gulf Fishing Company. Come see us. And come see us. Cheers, boys <laughs> and girls. Woo!